Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hook. So today we're reviewing two new yarns. So we've got Lion Brand ZZ Twist and Lion Brand Beautiful You. I am super excited to test both of these out. So let's swatch them up, wash them, and see what happens. Hey friends, real quick, if you want to learn how to get these amazing ergonomic hooks in this super cute yarn bag, make sure you check out the link in the description below. All right, so today, like I said, we're working with Beautiful You and ZZ Twist, both by Lion Brand. Um, I'm really excited to work with these. So I've I've messed with the ZZ Twist before, just testing it out, but I've never worked with the Beautiful You. Um, so I'm really excited. I was looking more for crocheters yarn. Um, with the S Twist yarn, it it's a little bit harder for crocheters and it splits differently because of how we hold the yarn and it's made more for knitters. Um, but the Z Twist yarn, so instead of the yarn going in an S Twist, it goes in a Z Twist. Um, so it's pretty neat how it does that. So the beautiful U yarn, like I said, it's from Lion Brand. So this is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, it's 326 yards. Um, this is a fine two weight yarn. And then it require, or re recommends a 3.75 millimeter hook. I'm going to use a 3.5 um, just because I know a lot of sets don't have a 3.75. And that's one that you have to buy separately. Um, it is 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable. And this is in the color Capri. It is so pretty. But the texture of this yarn, um, well that one's got a little bump to it. But if you look at the texture, it's spun but it's really, really tightly spun. So I'm really excited to test this one out. And then we have the ZZ Twist yarn. So this is also 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. This is 246 yarn yards. Um, this is a medium four weight yarn, and then it recommends a six millimeter hook. This is also 100% acrylic and machine washable and dryable. And this is in the color Cranberry. So this yarn twists different than the um, the S Twist yarn, and this I mean this yarn was designed specifically for crocheters, so we're gonna mess with both of these. Um, I'm really I have fuzz on them because my cat decided she wanted to lay on my table earlier, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna test these out and see how they work up. So we're gonna start with the beautiful you first. Um, let's see if I can find the inside. I'll move this out of the way. There we go, that wasn't so bad. All right, so this worked up super, super pretty. Um, it's a little dark because the yarn is a little dark, but I love the texture of this yarn. Um, and it worked up really nicely. It's not super fuzzy, other than my cat's hair in it. Um, but it's a really pretty texture. Let me Let me turn on a light and see if I can get it to be a little bit brighter for you. There we go, that's a little bit brighter. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of see the texture in this yarn. That's really pretty. All right, I really like that. So let's work with the ZZ Twist. The only thing I didn't like, so I could probably go up a hook size or two with this. I would probably go like a four and a half um, because the little bumps on the yarn do get caught. Because this one specifically, I don't believe was made for crocheters. I just wanted to test it out because it looked cool. 
Um, but yeah, so let's do the ZZ twist next and see how they work up together. All right, so we've got our ZZ twist, and this one, like I said, it recommended a six millimeter hook. So we have that. Let's see. There we go. All right, so this one is much stretchier. This stretches a ton, um, very springy, but I love this yarn. Um, like I said, I've used this yarn before, um, but I hadn't tested it before. Um, not like this at least. So I am very excited to test this out, um, to wash it and see how it handles it because I've never washed anything with it. Um, so I think, so the ZZ Twist is much softer and it's definitely, like, this is the difference between a two weight yarn and a four weight yarn. Like they are quite a bit in size difference. Um, same stitch count, so it is quite a bit different. But I'm gonna wash these, um, toss them in the washer and dryer and see how they hold up. All right, so we just got these out of the dryer. I really need to start weaving in my ends when I wash and dry these. Um, but the ZZ Twist looks fantastic. Um, no pilling, no, no stretching of the stitches or anything like that. Um, the only thing that I would keep an eye on at the end is that these do start to separate, um, because it is twisted, but a lot of yarns do that too. Just keep an eye on it. So if you wanted to do fringe, it would make it really extra fringy, but, um, just keep an eye on that. But other than that, like it didn't get any more fuzzy or fluffy or pill or anything like that. So I like that a lot. Um, the Beautiful You did the same. It did magical. It's not extra fluffy or anything like that. Um, it didn't get fuzzy or anything. So I'm very impressed with both of these. This one didn't even really split at the end. It did just fine. Um, so yeah, these are these both held up really great. So just make sure um, you guys let me know in the comments below if you've used either one of these or if you like one better than the other. Um, I think both of these would make really cute beanies, especially with them being acrylic and lightweight. Um, cardigans would be really nice. Shawls would be really nice. Blankets would be really nice. It'd probably take a little bit longer since this is a smaller yarn, but it, I mean, I feel like it'd be really pretty and cozy. So just let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!